All right, so Dylan, Sweet 16, you obviously were able to take over this game, both offensively and defensively. What's it like for you knowing that your team's going to rely on you in big moments like that? It's great. Uh, you know, I love it. You know, and it's not only relied on me, it's relied on Elgin, Dwayne, those, all those guys that, you know, I really want to win in this game. And, you know, I think every player on this team, you know, relies on each other. And that's why we're so tough to beat and we're so, you know, tough to take down because, you know, we're all banging together and we all want the same thing as to win, nothing else. And, you know, one day it could be me going over 25, next day it can be Elgin, the next day it can be Dwayne, you don't even know, next day, next day it could be Tyler. And that's why it's so hard, you know, for, uh, for a team to scout us because, you know, you never know what you're going to get. And, you know, today was my day and I, you know, my player, my, my teammates made the plays for me and, you know, I'm grateful for them to, you know, pass me the ball and I can make the plays that I can do. You know, it's not often you hear players admit that there were some nerves. You did that after the Holy Cross game. You said, hey, we're doing so many different things that's never been done with this program before. Game two at St. Joseph. Did some of those nerves, did they dissipate? Yeah, you know, they, they disappear. You know, we're, we, we, we got that game over with. And, you know, we just came together. And once we come together, all the nerves disappear and vanish. And, uh... You know, once that happens, we play with confidence and we play with so much, you know, cool and, you know, just ourselves. And, you know, that's what Coach Allman let us let us do, you know, just let us play our own game within his, you know, system. And, you know, that's why we win so many games and that's why Coach Allman is a great coach. I know before the game there's a lot of conversation about two players in particular, Miles and Bembry on the St. Joe's side. Everyone say, hey, NBA potential. I felt like watching you and Elgin Cook out there, maybe you kind of were insulted by some of that conversation. You tried to make it a point. Was that in your mind heading into this game? Oh, yeah. They said that they didn't even know who we were. You know, they thought, you know, Arizona won, won the Pac-12, you know, and we thought that was disrespectful. And Coach put, you know, me on uh, Burberry and Elgin on Miles, and you see what happened. You know, they barely had their, you know, average, and, you know, we just take stuff personally. And once we do that, we're a hard team to stop, especially with Elgin. You know, when he gets into it, it's a hard, he's a hard man to stop. So, you know, uh, even though that they, you know, they talk some trash over there, you know, they have, a great, they have a great program and, you know, they're coached by great coaches and they got great players. You know, late in this game, I'm looking at some of the numbers. You guys struggled from three in this game, but yet with about a minute to go, you hit a three. Tyler Dorsey hits a three. What's the mindset of you guys knowing that there's some struggles, at least from the field? Um, Coach said this, you know, after, you know, this game, and, you know, he says it all the time, you know, we're going to play 30 games. You know, 10 games, we're going to shoot it well. 10 games is going to be so-so. And in 10 games, we're not going to shoot it well. And that's why you got to play defense. And that's why, you know, you got to get stops and, you know, get rebounds. So uh, we knew that we weren't shooting the ball, but we were getting stops on the other end. We were forced to take tough shots. And, you know, that's why when we get stops and rebounds, our offense will come and we'll make big shots. Cause we got guys that, you know, are so confident in their game and they want to step in that spotlight. So, you know, it's just, you know, uh, a contribute to Coach Allman and, you know, getting us, getting us prepared for a game that we're not going to shoot it well in. All right, Sweet 16, it's Duke. You get a name brand, a team that's got a great tradition. What's it going to be like heading to Anaheim playing a team like that? Um, it's going to be, you know, a great feeling. We're going to come in, you know, as the underdog, I feel like, because, you know, they're, they're a household name. And we're going to really, you know, take it to them and, and, you know, just come out there and play loose and, you know, play hard. And that's what we do. And, you know, I feel like, you know, that team doesn't have enough depth. And, you know, we can just really come out there and, you know, take it right to them. Even though they got, you know, household names like Brandon Ingram and, you know, Grayson Allen, who are great, terrific players, you know, we have guys that, you know, are, are under the radar and want to make a name for themselves. So, and congratulations on the win. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming out.